One of the lessons learned from COVID that you can apply to your business is the importance around setting weekly and monthly targets for your business and really holding yourself accountable for those or getting someone to hold you accountable for those targets. The example here, construction company. So construction company builds residential houses. In a normal year, they turn over $3 million because they do six builds of half a million dollars each. Now, if we break that back down to a monthly turnover and a weekly turnover, that means there's basically $250,000 per month um, coming in from the build stages. And weekly turnover over 50 weeks, we'd be looking at $60,000 per week. Now, you know as builders, it doesn't come in as smooth as that. It's peaks and troughs. But what's really important is keeping the builds on track. So on a monthly basis, you're getting effectively half a house completed. So that's not a, a measure you can use, but you can certainly work on the different stages of the builds and identify for each of the properties that you currently got under construction, what stage is it up to, what stage will it be up to by the end of the month. And that's exactly the same with the weekly measurement. What are the targets for the week? If you've got your carpenters out on site, what do they need to get through for the week? What do the other sub-trades need to finish off that week? And put those targets in place, and you'll find hitting the annual turnover and actually exceeding that's a lot easier when, you, when you're quite regularly checking in with where you're up to and where you're trying to get to.